What's up, WWE Champions Universe? This is Lee from Champions Chat, and this is another installment in your Should You Take Blank Six Star Gold series. And this time, we are taking a look at Dexter Loomis Silence. Dexter has been a sleeper pick for a lot of people. He's a free character, so uh, most, if not everyone, should have him, depending on when you joined the game. And he does have a moveset at six-star bronze or above that a lot of people like. And so that's what we're going to take a look at. Uh, I'm not going to take a look at his other movesets. They do not work the same way that this one does. If you want to see those ones, we have a video on how to use him even if you don't have him six star that's under our Trickster's Tips playlist. But this is how we're going to run him. On your entourage, you have George Steele because you need your green moves started. I've also got Ricochet for two more green MP and Santa Hogan because you need to get to seven, right? Because these are seven MP charges right here. Uh, the only way around that would be to use the Bulldog, do a three by two area into black and have a plate that does break black, get green. But that's a more rare plate and... Um, you know, then you're delaying things. So, and you may, yeah, anyway. So I don't think most are going to run that way, but you could, just as a note. Uh, so on this, your slingshot suplex deals damage, makes a 4 by 4 area into trap, which turns gems into green if broken by you. The Luthez press deals damage and increases the damage of all your gems by 35%, which is not that much compared to uh, some of the other characters who have buff moves, but that is decent, uh, uh, strong in the six gold meta and then the bulldog is where you choose that three by area three by two area to black so the only trick i've got on this one is green gems do 12k more damage this is the pure free to play build there's uh well santa hogan uh, as always i have to note in these i can't change the fact that he's super santa but you do at least need santa 17k it's just this one's gonna skew it a little bit i can't avoid that other than not using him so what I would recommend, and I will show you, is to use uh, either DDP or somebody who, uh, carrying cross, somebody who makes green gems 30% more because that does work better in this meta. Then I'm not going to run his plate, but he does have a plate. Technically, it's for The Undertaker, but it works really well on him. I am running a 50% gem damage strap with Double Fury 2 and this little special guy right here. So if you have a 100% gem damage strap or higher, you will still hit harder than this. Not higher than 100%, but if you have one that's a, a higher percentage than 50%, up to 100%, you will hit harder than this. Let's see how he does. Now, this is six gold against six gold, so this is a fair shot. Can a B-tier Dexter Loomis do anything against Zombie Sammy, who's one of the best strikers in the game? Good news is we have a couple turns, but <laughs> other than that, 50 million health. What can we do? So we want to put these down. You're going to break some black gems, but you don't want to break too awful many of them because you want as many as possible to cascade on the board. And oh my goodness. Oh my gravy train. So that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Hold on. As Davey D would say, hold on. Make sure you're following the Daviest of D's on his channel, Davey D Gaming. Uh, yeah, that didn't work. So, Dexter. <laughs> Buddy, our other option here is to go up against the, the Big Papa Ust of Pumps here. And... As we saw with one of my videos with uh, Cowboy Bob, he doesn't destroy you uh, with his bleed move, but if he gets his sub loaded, this is also going to be a problem. So we'll try it again. See what happens. Right there, right there. Now we're going to increase all of our gem damage by 35%, which means our green gems are doing 228k. That's not that much. That is not that much nowadays. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to try and break a little section of it right here where we get just enough to hopefully flood the whole board and do it a couple times over. Bam, bam, bam. 17 million. So, 
I can already answer one question for you. Should you take Dexter Loomis six-star gold if you don't have his plate? The answer is no. No, no, no. He is not going to survive, uh, especially against Big Pop Pop here. So, <laughs> uh, but if you had the last ride, what about that? I am going to waste a lot of health packs this time around. Wow. Wowzers, guys. If you have the last ride plate, that might change the story. And the person who asked me, could you make a video on Dexter, specifically said, I have the last ride plate. Should I take Dexter to six-star gold? So that being the question, let's add that on here real quick. It's the last ride to hell. Whenever you make 15 or more trap gems, increase your green gem damage by 200% for one turn. 200 is greater than 35, just so we know. Uh, you could also add something like the uh, break green, turn black into yellow, but it's just a little little bonus damage. Doesn't it gonna do anything that much for you. Entourage-wise, though, since we're adding a more rare plate, I am going to relieve Lex of his duties because at six star gold, 12k is not what it used to be. You actually want to run 25% or higher gem damage. The better of the two, although DDP is amazing, on this particular one, and it's probably, yeah, he's on somebody else. So uh, would be DDP right here. Green gems do 30% more, and green moves deal 30% more. Since you're running both anyway, you've, you've got all green. Let's go ahead and do that. I still can't take off Santa. Ricochet, however, 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 I could substitute out for... Big Papa Pump, the very one that we are battling against here because he would do 60, 50% more gem damage, something like that. Where's he at? If I can find him quickly, I'll run it without him. If I can just remember kind of how far down is he? Okay, he's on somebody. He's on somebody. If I can't find him, there he is. Okay, so it's right below Tori. So that'd be green gems, 50% more green moves start with two. So I'm not gonna run it with Papa this time. I will do one more here. Uh, supposing that Big Papa Pump doesn't destroy us, then we should be good. And I'll close out this video with the definitive answer. Should you take him six star gold? Boop, boop, put that right there. Boop, boop, we'll put that right there. And now with both buffs on there, your green gems are doing, oof, still only 385K. That is not much in this meta anymore, guys. That's not much. So let's see. Let's see if we can burn it down. Bam, bam. Ah, 25, 25 million. Um, not going to keep him down, and now we're going to get worked over, but it did do a lot better than the other side of things, that's for sure. You know, I, I don't even think we, we need to put Papa on there. I'll talk, and if I can beat him fast enough that I can answer the question while we're doing that, I will make the swap, but the answer is no. Um, unfortunately, Dexter Loomis just does not scale into this meta, even with his plate. Now, if you wanted to, I mean, 25 million is not small, but again, keep in mind, Papa was 50 million health, and a lot of them now have 65 to 75 million. Hall of Fame Ray has over 100 million health uh, that you're going to have to get through, and you're talking a lot of turns. You're talking them getting back to you. You're just talking nonsense. Uh, unfortunately, Dexter is capped off in the six star bronze to six silver at best meta. So should you take Dexter Loomis to six star gold? My answer is no. Do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments section. Like the video, subscribe to Champions Chat, and then send this to your friend or faction mate who's going, hey, I've got Dexter. Maybe I've even got that last ride to hell plate. Should I take him up? Send this answer to them. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.